Hey guys. Stevie. What's up, Brent? What's up, Black Gazer? Ah, woo! How y'all doing today? Do it. How are y'all all doing today? Come on, baby. Infinite ammo. <laughs> That's right. You know it. All right. Just loaded up. Good to see everybody. We're going to get this thing going. Doing a doing the full story. We'll be watching the cutscenes and stuff and codex main stuff at least. Wee wee, European Extreme. That's right, love daddy. How's it going, dude? Good night. Alright, let's see. Can't get all this stuff to get. This donations. Welcome. Judge Judy Slayer, thank you so much for the follow on Twitch. Remember, you only get one life to live. Live it to the max. Welcome to the family, son. Thank you. Take that. It's raining there like crazy. Oh, really? Hey, Shadow Wolf, what's up, buddy? How are you? Turn the thing off. I forgot to turn it off. This was from last time. Want to vote? We can vote for whether we he dies of old age or fight or early. She definitely can make things interesting when it comes to the non lethal part. It's good, Googie. How are you doing today, buddy? What are you up to? Off. Yeah, it's MGS3 is what we're doing. Non lethal playthrough. Vote for the end's fate via donations. What a thrill, Phoenix. That's right, man. What a thrill. Yeah, apparently this is the uh, day for the first day of uh, Operation Snake Eater. Pepsi doesn't matter because he's dead. After Brent, the, end of World um, War II, the world was split into two. I guess East YouTube says I have more people watching. I this guess that's probably the main America reason, really. Cold War. What about you, Brent? What do you prefer? A man or a man? Let's say a ban. Ban from the stream. Flying over Pakistan, altitude 30,000 feet. Approaching Soviet airspace. 20 minutes to drop off. Commencing internal depressurization. 
equipment check. Our main parachute. All right. You ready to go? Drop zone still showing a high pressure mass. Cab okay. <sighs> Brent, I would say YouTube. As much as it pains me to say, probably YouTube. Benefits me more, I would say. When it comes to like just because of more Put people watching cigar. and stuff, probably benefits me more. Connecting oxygen hose to interior connector. Put on your mask. Swap man probably in the next in October possibly, I'm thinking about it, yeah. Does this panty waste know what he's doing? Approaching release point. I do need to play it again. Hey, I'm actually yeah. thinking about playing those games again. I've been thinking about that actually. Depressurization complete. Checking oxygen supply. Six minutes to drop off. Opening rear hatch. Is that why you were asking? Welcome. Jack, I've got some important news. Welcome. The head of the CIA has finally given us the green light for the virtuous mission. Virtual mission? No, the Pensive a million dollars. The future of our Fox unit depends on it. If it succeeds, we'll be officially organized into a unit. Brent, was that why you were asking, buddy? Welcome. Sounds like some kind you of want to troll me? Ritual. Is that you, Brent? You know, don't get cocky. This isn't a training op. Right. So what exactly is this wonderful mission? Well, about two years ago, a certain Soviet I'm just messing with you. requested asylum in the West through one of our moles. And I will come. Is Nikolai Stepanovich Sokolov. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's not a lot of people on Twitch, Brent, but it doesn't really matter. Like, I'd say YouTube probably more than anything because I get stuff from there more so. But it's good to have you here, man. I appreciate you. Isn't he that famous rocket scientist? Yeah, $100 billion. That's what I want. Pensive. On April the 12th, 1961, the Soviets achieved the first manned space flight in history. The Earth was blue, but there was no God. Well spoken. The rocket that carried Yuri Gagarin to orbit was the A-1. Into the future. Sokolov is said to be the man most responsible for the multi-engine cluster used in that rocket. After Gagarin's flight, Sokolov left rocket development. Lockgazer, I got you. Established design bureau. Oh, yes. From a lowly technician to head of a design bureau, that's quite a success story. So why do you want to defect? It seems he'd become afraid of his own creations. Epsi, I've seen it and haven't played it. This is terrible, I know. Andrew, that was last time. Thank you, Brent. I appreciate it. Over the fence. Not exactly. One of his conditions was that his family was... Edward, what are you going to be playing on your PlayStation 5, dude? That's awesome. Hell, hell yeah, like guys. They're great songs. 
I was the one who conducted the. I need to play it though, Pepsi. It's a it's a travesty. I have. I wish I could stream it, but it's kind of hard to do. Then what? We got Sokolov over in one piece, but the whole ordeal had left him exhausted, and we checked him. In Good to see you, Edward. Berlin. It took him two weeks and more than 600 miles to get from the research facility in the Soviet Union to Berlin. He was in no condition to say anything coherent. Let me see if you do anything. And it was only a Edward, later, I'm very curious. The Cuban Missile Crisis. October the 16th, 1962. President Kennedy received word that the Soviets were in the process of deploying intermediate oh, range okay. ballistic missiles. I'm just curious if you had any content. The president demanded that the Soviets dismantle and remove the missiles. At the same time, he announced a naval blockade to prevent further missile shipments from reaching Cuba. But the Soviets I was saying if you instead placing their armed forces on secondary alert. Soviet transport ships carrying missiles continued on course towards Cuba. U.S. and Soviet forces went on alert for an all-out... What about PS5? Well, let me know what you're going to play on PS5 there, Edward. I'm, I'm curious to see. Council ...and unofficial channels to end the hair-trigger standoff. Finally, on October the 28th, the Soviet Union agreed to remove its missiles from Cuba. We'll see. And so the world avoided a nuclear holocaust. But in order to get the Soviets to pull their missiles out, we had to make a deal. Mmm, that's awesome. That's all awesome. Oh, great, great, great games, I hear. I haven't done Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy VII Remake yet. Demon Souls is awesome. I platinum that. Get rid of them anyway. It's really good. No strategic value whatsoever to either the U.S. or the Russians. The Turkey deal was a ruse, a cover story that was fed to the other intelligence agencies around the world. So what did the Russians really want? Sokolov. They wanted us to return Sokolov. You Love Daddy, are you you're a patron, aren't you? Did you vote so for which uh, variety game you want to see between Cyber Shadow, Final Fantasy VII Remake, and time, Ghost of Tsushima no to continue idea. that one? We were running out of time. It was either give up Sokolov or risk full-scale nuclear war. Hey, Magnus. We had no choice. President Kennedy gave in to Khrushchev's demand. The next day, I got Sokolov out of the hospital, handing him over to agents on the eastern side. Sokolov kept on screaming, save me, until he disappeared from my sight. Then a month ago, we received some new information from one of our... I'm Hazer, yeah. About Sokolov? Yes. He was taken back to the research facility. Oh, they did let that agency. ...working on the weapon in question under KGB. Oh, yeah, Edward, no doubt, dude. I'm excited. Let's get so many good stuff. We got... So what kind of weapon is it? Um, Something to do with space rockets? The next Horizon Zero Dawn coming out in February. Until it... Same technology. They move it back to, like, April or right. May. Details, but it appears <laughs> you did love Daddy. So you voted for Ghost of Tsushima. For half a year now, the Soviets have been conducting frequent... I think you and Natalia both voted for that, I think. Something to do with the weapon, I assume. We're talking about a secret weapon so big that Khrushchev was ready to pull out of Cuba. How are you doing today, Andrew? Is Sokolov still in the facility? No. According to our intelligence, he's in Selino Yask, a place in the mountains about three miles to the west that's known as the Virgin Cliffs. The Virgin Cliffs? Nice name for a virtuous mission. Yes. They moved Tina Bridges Spirits, I'm looking forward to Why? next month. Apparently. They're conducting a field test. And weapon, they're death stranding. Welcome. This mission would never have been possible if he was still in the research facility. This is our last chance. Sokolov must have known that too when he contacted us. Welcome. For tuna fish. <laughs> to infiltrate Selino Yask in the Soviet mountains, ensure the safety of Sokolov and bring him back to the west. Welcome. If we don't get Sokolov back before that weapon is complete... Andrew, not much really place. yet. I think it'll be on the way, the but it's not here yet.
Hey, Mama Native. Yeah, that was for you. Once we've confirmed the rescue of Sokolov, stand by at the recovery point. A recovery balloon will be dropped at that point. Have a car to roll. Are you Luna? The process takes about 20 minutes. Welcome. Once it's complete, the gunship will launch into the balloon and pull it up. The Fulton surface to air recovery system. I'm familiar with the theory. Take it easy. I'm not Being giving the person the time of day who's doing it, so Welcome. I think you'll be able to figure it out from there. The shock will be less than during a parachute jump, and the arm can handle up to 500 pounds. So you're planning on going over the border in a single combat talent? She's equipped with two six-barrel 20-millimeter Vulcan cannons. Yeah, so Andrew, that's crazy. Machine gun. Mm. Sounds like she could hold her own against a battalion of tanks. <laughs> Tired of the leftovers. <laughs> Even with the fuel in the reserve tank, we're facing a four-hour time limit. If all goes well, it shouldn't take more than a few hours. Home in time for dinner. But if anything goes wrong, you'll be eating dinner, breakfast, and all the rest of your meals in the jungle. This is why I have slow mode on all the time. Yeah, Natalia, talk to me. Yeah, the, yeah, that's crazy. I saw that. The anniversary of Katrina. Isn't that nuts? Which, this is the day that uh, Operation Snake Eater apparently started, I think. <laughs> Do you copy? You're already in enemy territory, and somebody might well, be Brent, it's, it's, it's kind of a tie between this one and the first one. The first one is just so good. The atmosphere, I think, in the first one is better than this one. Naked Snake. I'll be referring to you as Snake uh, from now on. Just the overall story, the the charisma of the game, the like snakes. How funny this game can be too. The codec conversations. Survival training. The different ways that you can play this game where we can uh I'd ever order one you can sneak or kill everybody or use mostly you just seek you see you're not. I mean this is so versatile. That's just another reason why I like it so much. Call me Major Tom. This will be a sneaking mission. You must not be seen by the enemy. You must leave no trace of your presence. Is that clear? This kind of infiltration is the Fox Unit's speciality. In other words, Weapons and equipment to procure on site. That goes for food as well. You're completely naked, just as your name implies. Great. Now I see why you asked me if I like snakes. I suppose calling me Snake was your idea of a joke, too. No. There's a good reason. My guys, are, if there was such a thing, I'd play it, but I don't think that's a thing. Getting back to the subject, how exactly am I supposed to feed myself? What about you, Brent? Do you, you like this one a lot? Is it your favorite? Gun. Use them to hunt for food. You'll also find some medical supplies in your backpack. Yeah, about the backpack. I lost it in a tree on the way down. Boo! AQ hey, dog. I see. Well, I. You better go back and get it then. You know where it is? No problem. I can see it from here. It's stuck on a branch. To climb a tree, stand in front of a tree that's covered in ivy and press the action button. I'll be monitoring your progress over the radio. We can't risk violating... He stabbed him in the head? My frequency is 140.5. Did it kill him? I'll give you a call if I need to talk to you. 
If you or did he just, or did he just have severe injuries, or did it kill him? Okay, Good so God! Go get your backpack. <laughs> My. Remind me to never visit New York. Uh, to tell you. <laughs> Right, Mama Need, I'm staying away from there. Well, heck, he is protecting himself. <laughs> I don't feel sorry for him either. Jeez. Hey, Angelotti, how are you doing? In the hospital? Well, puff up past. Maybe he's high on morphine right now. <laughs> He got punched in the face, though. He's probably protecting himself, though. Damn. And make the O. It's a non-lethal playthrough, so I probably shouldn't. We'll see. Yeah, we'll do that later. A vegan run. I've already killed that snake. <laughs> oh, Brent, I know. Freaking nuts, isn't it? What do they do? They do. Natalia, hell yeah. I see you've retrieved your backpack, snake. To equip a weapon, it's necessary to take it out of your backpack. In the survival viewer, choose weapon from the backpack. Your available weapons will be displayed in a window in the upper left. From that list, choose the weapon you want to equip yeah, true and that. press the enter button. For other equipped items, just do the same thing from item. Got it. Use I haven't eaten yet, that's true. Backpack. Good point. Yep, that's right. Survival is fundamental to this mission. You're a dolphin, Sam. After you've been out in the field for a while, your stamina will start to drop. If your First, gets too low, what was your favorite? And he says there's 61. Brent, such a great game. Be, for example, and your wounds won't heal as smoothly. Keep an the eye stabbing on was a bit so much, but damn. Out. To recover lost stamina, you can hunt for local flora and fauna. You can use either your... That's true. Whatever. Knife I just wanted to mess with the guy. My only weapon is a Mark 22 Hush Puppy Tranquilizer gun. That's true. That's right. It's been fitted with its own suppressor. That's true, Andrew. I'm sorry. However, I'm sorry, Andrew. You're right. Of course, like always. Once durability reaches zero, the noise suppression effect will be gone. So don't get too trigger happy with it. The suppressor's durability is shown in the icon. Any weapons and equipment beyond what you're carrying now, you'll have to find as you go. I have to find my own weapons and equipment? Whose crazy idea was this anyway? Solo covert actions are standard Fox operating procedure. You can't leave any traces of your presence. No weapons, equipment, footprints, sweat, or bodily waste. The same goes for bullets and cartridges, too. Your presence in enemy territory is already a violation of international conventions of warfare. There aren't supposed to be any American soldiers in Russia. It could spark an international incident. You can't let anyone see you. You can't let the enemy know you're there. This is a stealth mission. You're a ghost snake in every sense of the word. And there'll be no rescue if you're captured. The military and U.S. government will deny any involvement in the affair. Then I'll just have to take care of myself, huh? I'm no, for punching sir. them, yeah. You've been given a fake death pill for that purpose. SIS guidelines stipulate that soldiers on covert ops like this one be issued a potassium cyanide capsule. Tape oh, it to your body so you can take it when you need to. How generous of you. Use it if you're taken prisoner by the enemy. It will send you into a state of false death for a short time. Fooling them into thinking that I'm really dead. So how do I come back to life? Just take Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the thing. If it was out in the battle, if it was in the closed space, it can get, get, get a little bit crazy. The one, but be well, yeah, there's crazy people you everywhere. Remain in a state of false death for too Honestly. long. Nothing will be able to bring you back. Remember that. I'll keep it in mind. How oh, is Tara doing, by the way? Right. You're doing good? Right. I guess that means I can't count on any reinforcements. Correct. The mission rests entirely in your hands. A real one-man army. Relax. There's a support That's team true, to take you up over the I can't radio. use that. Who? I'll introduce them to you. This time, survival is of utmost importance. 
The first member of the support team will be in charge of monitoring your physical condition, acting as a medic, so to speak, as well as recording your mission data. She's a member of Fox as well, and she's here on the gunship with me. She? He? Hello, Snake. I'm paramedic. Nice to meet you. Paramedic? As in a medic who comes in by parachute. Aren't you going to tell me your real name? Are you going to tell me yours, Mr. Snake? My name, huh? It's John Doe. And they call you Jack for short. You're a regular Captain Nemo. A name means nothing on the battlefield. After a week, no one has a name. What's your name? We're going through some stuff. Jim? It's not as bad, I don't think, as last Jim. time with Katrina. I but... wasn't joking, but I'll tell you my name only if you manage to make it back alive. My frequency is 145.73. Yeah, if you become She's a uh, in charge of recording your mission data. super when chat or donation, say, whatever, all they can do to defy the, 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 the end's fate, so. 140.96. Be sure to let your voice so be heard. Senator, that's me record my mission data. That's right. It also records the state of your health. Good to know. There's one more person I want to introduce you to, Snake. Huh? Speaking of snakes, you remember the it's boss, legal. don't you? A legendary soldier. Just out and about, it's legal. Okay. Actually, it I didn't realize that. that. The DCI's authorization in the first place. She's going to be serving as Fox's. I knew it was in some advisor. places. I didn't know if it was in New York Fox or not. Is. She also helped me plan this mission. She and I were at SAS together. Jack, is that you? How many years has it been? Mei Ling is cute. That's right. The paramedic has her. Has her. Talk to me. Let me hear your voice. It's oh, I finally got uh, the controller to work, days, and they added, they hours. updated it on Blue Stacks Five. Lost weight. So I've got the controller just working just to where I can do voice. Mega Man X Dive of on PC, I and I can stream that. I know so. all about you. I'm gonna be doing that at some point. Well, I don't know. Very soon too. You. What's that supposed to mean? Why'd you disappear on me all of a sudden? Just I was kind of see what that's all about. You didn't need me anymore. But there were yeah, Natalia, like, and people weren't really caring about it much anyway, were they? No, I didn't think so. I taught you everything you needed to know about fighting techniques. Thank you, Predator. I Appreciate you. you. Like How are you doing today? The rest you needed to learn on your own. Techniques, sure. But what about how to think? <laughs> Love, Daddy, you crazy for that. How to think like a crazy soldier? Crazy old man. I can't teach you that. A soldier needs to be strong in spirit, body, and technique. And the only thing you can yeah, Andrew, that's dumb. is technique. Especially in New fact, York. Technique doesn't eat you alive. What's most important is spirit. Spirit and body are like two sides of a single coin. They're the same thing. I can't teach you how to think. A single shit. I didn't think they did. Like nobody yourself. cared. Listen to me. Like, there's more important things. Just because soldiers are on the same side right now doesn't mean they always will be. How'd your stream go earlier today, Predator? I saw you were streaming on Twitch. Is one of the worst sins you can commit. Politics determine who you face on the battlefield. Oh, uh, Andrew and Natalia, I just I posted something on Mon Chat on Discord if you want to see it. Yesterday's good, but I didn't want to mention it here Is because it's like not worth mentioning. Me? No, it had nothing to do with you. I already told you, Jack. I was on a top secret mission. A soldier has to follow. <laughs> Put you to the hospital. It's not his place to question why, but you're looking for a reason to fight. You are a natural born fighter, but you're not quite a soldier. A soldier is a political tool, nothing more. That's doubly true if he's a career soldier. Right and wrong have no place in his mission. He has no enemies and no friends. Only the mission. You follow the orders you're given. That's what being a soldier is. Hey, Carlos, what's up, buddy? I do whatever I have to to get the job done. I don't think about politics. That's not How you doing, Carlos? Thing. You doing alright, buddy? Sooner or later, your conscience is. Hey, Phoenix. If you don't like it, you can leave. In the end, you have to choose whether you're going to live as a soldier or just another man with a gun. There's a saying. Man with a golden gun. Loyalty. What were you playing, Predator? Do you know what it means? Being patriotic. It means devoting yourself to your country. I follow the president and the top brass. I'm ready to die for them if necessary. The president and the top brass won't be there forever. Once their terms are up, others will take their place. I follow the will of the leader, no matter who's in charge. People aren't the ones who dictate the missions. Then who does? The times. People's values change over time, and so do the leaders of a country. <sighs> so there's no such thing as an enemy in absolute terms. 
The enemies we fight are only enemies in relative terms, constantly changing with the times. Oh, okay, Phoenix, as I got you. As long as we have loyalty to the end, there's no point in believing in anything. I have Even one. Oh, okay, love. nice. I'll, and so, that's the way a soldier's first time playing it, Predator. Have you played it before? The only thing we can believe in with absolute certainty is the mission, Jack. All right, but do me a favor. What is it? Call me Snake. Snake. Oh, right. Your code name is Snake. It suits you well. That's right. The legendary unit that the boss put together during World War II was a snake. The Cobra unit. A group of heroes that brought the war to an end and saved the world. As long as you've got a legendary hero backing you up, you'll be fine. Isn't that right, Snake? Yeah. I can't think of anyone else I'd rather have with me. <laughs> oh, and one more thing, boss. Yes? It's good to hear your voice again. Same here. After all, who knows if either of us will make it out alive. Snake, you are always best at urban warfare and infiltrating buildings. But this is the jungle. Survival is going to be key. Those CQC techniques I taught you are sure to come in handy. CQC? Close quarters combat, huh? I've been in the Green Berets for the past few years. I'm probably pretty rusty. Not to worry. I'll be here to help you remember. After all, this is your first actual survival mission. I'll be supporting you over the radio. Where are you, boss? Next to the Major? The boss is communicating Blatt. with us by radio from it's aboard a, a permit you think class of submarine a in now. the Arctic Ocean. My frequency is 141.80. Call me if you need my advice on battle techniques. Gotcha. Your mission is to retrieve Dr. Sokolov. Dr. Sokolov is being held in an abandoned factory located to the north of your current position. Avoid heavy combat and don't let anyone see you. Don't forget that this is a stealth mission. Snake, try to remember some of the basics of CQC. Commencing virtuous mission now. Oh my gosh, Finn Ravens! All right, well, be sure to subscribe on your boyfriend's uh, on your boyfriend's channel. <laughs> How's it going? How's it going, Popo? <laughs> so funny. <laughs> drop the drop the phone in the toilet. Drop the phone in the toilet. Drop the phone in the toilet. How's the uh, They just left. How's the quality of the of the content? Oh, he's already subscribed. Okay. How's the quality of the stream? Everything coming in okay for you guys? Bug juice. Don't hurt me. Losing sounds great. Okay, good. When's the cutoff? Oh, right until before the before the fight. Unless if uh, the early... Like, you know when you do early at the end of the cutscene before you can shoot him early? <laughs> Shut up, love daddy. So, if early is ahead at that point... Carlos! Stuff and things, stuff and things. I know. Yeah, the cutoff is either if it's right before you can shoot him, it early is ahead than that. If not, then... Then, um... Vince, if you do it. I've spotted two enemy soldiers. They're probably KGB troops. Carlos. Carlos Lopez Jr., thank you so much for becoming a member, my dude. I appreciate that. Thank you.
Snake, your presence in Soviet territory is already a violation of international law. We can't let the Kremlin find out that the CIA and the American government are involved. Contact with the enemy. Medio, I, it cuts off whenever I say it cuts off. You heard? This is a stealth mission. Got that? The Major is right. The point of this mission is to sneak through the jungle without being seen. The success of the mission depends on how well you use your camouflage. All right, Pensive. Hey, B-Dubs, how are you doing, brother? Change Good to see you. camouflage by selecting camouflage from what the survival What are you buying? Lara with that two euro. Holla. Thank you, Lara. Is that for fight earlier old age? Oh, by the way, um. Conceal yourself more effectively. Also, Carlos. Do you want that's a the two ninety nine one, right? So, what do you want that one to go towards? But if you your membership can go towards it as well. Sneak by without being noticed. Fight earlier old age. You can see how effective your camouflage is by looking at the camo index. The camo index shows how well your current. Thank you so much again, Carlos. You freaking rock, dude. Area. Thank you. The higher the value, the better. Spot and vice versa. At one fifty. Thank you, dude. <laughs> to make yourself one with nature. Keep that in mind as you go along. Okay. Hold on. Got some fun stuff we gotta do, but we gotta do this first. Hey, I know. Carlos, thank you so much. For becoming an agent of this agency, my friend, because of your willingness to serve, we can make this world a lot more fun place to live one game at a time. Everybody get up to Carlos Lopez Jr. There's something on that screen. <laughs> I don't have it on there. <laughs> Nothing there. Thank you so much. Good to see ya. So, Love Daddy's for early. Van hey, Laura, do which one do you want? You want yours for early. And Carlos, what do you want your membership to go towards? Um, so, you know what, see in the top right, the end's fate. We can either take him out early, you can fight him normally, or you can have him die of old age. For your membership, which is worth $2.99, do you want that money to go towards the end's fate for fight early or old age? Love Daddy said 150 early, Laura. Thank you again, Laura. You freaking rock. Love you, girl. It was two euros, which is what in US dollars? 236. Apparently. Hey, Balin, how are you doing? Going for old age? Okay, Carlos, nice. Good to see you, Ballin. How you doing? Things going okay? Old age? Okay, cool. That's... I think it was three. Got that going. All right, cool. All right. Let's do a funny camouflage and piss off the boss. Funny. Camouflage is an in visibility. You can only use snake. Yeah. Did you take off your uniform? 
Yeah. What's the matter? Just needed to loosen up. <sighs> I know there's a naked option under uniform in the camouflage window that lets you take off your uniform. But without a yeah, uniform well, you on, your camo index will remain low, and you'll burn through your stamina more quickly. So stop acting like a fool and put some camouflage on now. <sighs> Did you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's put on the suit now. Watch this. Let's put the suit on. This is still funny, though. Birthday suit, that's as much as we're going to get on there, Balling. Snake. What's up, boss? <laughs> Don't you what's up me? Don't you what's up me? What you're doing? What do you mean? What do I mean? What is that camouflage you're wearing? Yeah, not the birthday suit, this suit. This. What do you think? Of all the... Looks pretty good on me, doesn't it? Are you out of your mind? You can't wear that in battle. It's like saying to the enemy, Hey, here I am, shoot me. Well, I'll admit it is a little on the flashy side. <laughs> then why don't you... But it does look good on me, doesn't it? <sighs> you don't think so? Listen, wise ass. <laughs> Camouflage isn't going to do jack if it doesn't help you blend in with your surroundings. Well, I think it looks good on me. Fine. Wear whatever you want. Thought you'd like it. <laughs> Thought you'd like it. <laughs> Love it. Oh, dang. Oh, you did? Good lord. So, Ballin, I saw that uh, your your hubby had to get that booster, huh? He's doing pretty good, isn't he? Not too bad. What up, bro? Don't you what's up me? I thought you'd like it. Oh, that's good. Did he do one that was the same as as the as the vaccine that he got, or did he do the different one? I've heard that it's possible they're recommending to do like let's say if he did Pfizer, do Moderna, or vice versa. Hand over Sokolov. Of the same, okay. I just didn't know if they recommended him do something different or what, but just curious. Andrew, I mean that's that's businesses for you. Who is they? Just in general, Mom and Anita. You say they. Got him, son. Okay. Got you. Okay.
Do 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 Why Gazer? Well we're not we're not all gonna be normal. I'm definitely not normal. I will never be normal. That's not getting that's not getting into any uh altercations in here. You can do that anywhere else. Let's not do it here in the chat, please. I was just asking a general question. Carrying I don't know. Has anybody talked to them? I hope they're doing alright. Finn, that's, I mean, Finn, I'm calling you Finn. I'm in I just did it. He was, okay, I'm glad he's doing good. I, that's what I thought he was doing okay. There we go. Ah! Hey, Kevin. The string about the Well, hopefully they recover well. Phoenix, maybe. Sorry, Poe. Yeah, I'm glad he's doing good. Did I miss some? Here, let's eat some. Just cuz. There goes my vegan playthrough. Tasty. That's good. Yeah, but that's awesome, Poe. I mean, you can't beat that. I mean, that's the way it's supposed to be. You're supposed to take care of each other and be there for each other. When, when one's down, you pick the other one, picks them up. Don't bring them down. How's it going, Kevin Smalls? Disgusting. Major, I've reached the abandoned factory where Sokolov is supposedly being held. This place is a dump. I can't see Sokolov from here. The security is pretty tight. There are sentries posted around the perimeter. I wonder how many are inside. Your objective, Sokolov, is inside the factory. They should be holding him in a room in the northeast section. Northeast section. Got it. Be careful. Your mission is to bring Sokolov back alive. He must not be exposed to any kind of danger. And do not approach Sokolov while in the alert phase. Right. Oh, and one more thing, Snake. You mean there's more? No, it's just that when you get to Sokolov, I want you to tell him something from me. And that is? Sorry for being so late. Is that all? Yes. Understood. Beginning my approach to the target. Beginning my approach to the target. Damn it. Ah. Stars. This is me. I just don't want to wait. Big Boss 472, welcome in! Don't have to wait. It takes forever.
Big Boss 472, thank you so much for the support and becoming an agent, my friend, because of your willingness to serve. We make this one a lot more fun place to live one game at a time. Everybody give it up to Big Boss 472. Hey, TJ. Yeah, enjoy that Fox on badge, those emotes. You'll, and we also will have a new blind retro playthrough for the top four that y'all be voting on here very, very soon. Be able to do that. Plus, we'll be doing some, uh, we're going to be doing some uh, membership uh, appreciation streams again probably later this week. Uh, and then a, mo a movie night, so we'll have access to all that. Now, has an option for all people who have streamed that. Monthly tips, they set them out themselves. You, the streamer, get 100%. Oh, Rock Gazer, how do they do that? That's awesome. Oh, Rock Gazer, that's awesome. Yeah, TJD, I'd never do that. That's cool. So, but it's not, but it's not like, they wouldn't be able to get like membership stuff here on YouTube. It's like something completely separate, right, Light Gazer? Oh, oh so Big Boss 472. Do you want your donation, your membership, that $2.99 to go towards fight early or old age, by the way? Hey, Carlos, Larry, how you doing? It is like Gazer? Really? Well, okay. I'm cool with that. That's awesome. So, Light Gazer, you said it's enabled. Like, where do you see this at, Light Gazer? It maybe like take a screenshot of it or something and send it to me on Discord if you're on my Discord. Yeah, we need to be able to gift memberships. That'd be amazing. We'd probably be... There's some many generous people here. Aw, oh, damn it. Okay, big boss. I'll do that one then. I'll put it on there. I'm paying attention. Alright, here we go. Cyber Spectre. Well, I didn't do a very good job that way, did I? Oh, damn. Yeah, Cyber Spectre. I did pretty bad then, but we're going to do better this time. TJ, that's right. I'll come back a week later and then play. <laughs> oh, damn it! I didn't do it quick enough. That was dumb. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. I'm playing like crap right now. What the? Boom. All right. All right. There we go. Huh? Big Boss, I'm going to put it on there. I'm just going to wait till this cutscene. There we go, Spot Cyber. That's how you do it. <laughs> Oops.
It was it big ball. You must be so glove. <gasps> You're pretty big. Are you one of Vulcan's men? You never not... get it from me. No. I'm a CIA agent. I've come to escort you back to the other side of the Iron Curtain. Your CIA? Yeah. I was sent by Major Zero, the man who got you out two years ago. Zero? I have a message from him. What is it? Thanks again, man. I really Zero. appreciate that, you Sorry two. For being so late. Those memberships. It means a lot to me. Did Thank you, you know? so much. What does it mean? It means he's a man of his word. But we've got no time for this. You have to get me out of here before they arrive. Who's they? Oh, you did, Cyber. Really? Of Gru. Well, then, cut, put your seatbelt on. We're going to have some fun tonight, Cyber. Well, that's your first time playing through. You're not supposed to be. Heard of him. He's a member of the Army's What's up, Tank? Faction, a man who seeks to seize control of the motherland. Ever since the Cuban Missile Crisis two years ago, Khrushchev has been pursuing a policy of peaceful coexistence with the West. Despite resistance and criticism from hawks in the army and the provincial authorities, Khrushchev has managed to suppress the opposition so far. But the failure of his agricultural policies has put him in a precarious position. And on top of that, the tragedy last November. President Kennedy's assassination. Precisely. In a sense, Khrushchev has lost his biggest partner, and his power base is rapidly crumbling away. A certain group is plotting to use this opportunity to seize power by rallying the anti-government forces, That's pretty cool. overthrowing Thank Khrushchev, you. and installing Brezhnev and Kosygin in his place. The mastermind behind this plot is Colonel Volgin of the Gru. He has control over another secret weapons research facility, much like yeah, this. big boss. That's Don't why we're here, man. Eight one two. Known as the Granin Design Bureau, and is using it to further his plans. We've been up to tank, but that is not enough to satisfy him. Now he's plotting to seize the secret weapon I have been developing here and use it as leverage in his bid for power. The intelligence says that they are going to make their move during the test. Then. The soldiers outside. Exactly. They wouldn't need that many men just to keep me inside. Their orders were to prevent Colonel Volgin from capturing me. Even if it meant Andrew, what were y'all playing? Thank you, no good. What's up, buddy? Well, Cyber, well, you can learn a few things from me, but I'm not the best. But I'm, de I'm, I'm pretty good. Pretty good. But I'm not the best. We have fun with it, though. By the way, your Russian is superb. Where did you learn to speak it? From my mentor. Is that so? America is truly a frightening country. Having second thoughts? No. I have no love for this place. Let's go. Bud Jr. is doing great, Carlos. Doing amazing. Dead by daylight, okay. I still need to reveal to y'all whether if I'm having a boy or a girl. Well, my wife having a boy or a girl. I know. I want to reveal it to y'all sometime Major, soon. This is Snake. Sokolov is safe with me. He's doing fine. Bigger lines. No oh, that's right. Good it is the same snake. voice actor. Now hurry up and get Sokolov to the recovery point. Oh, okay, Tank. We well, appreciate that. you hanging out Roger. with us. What about the sentries? I managed to get past. Are them. doing great. I see. Pudge Jr. doing what great. Miss boss? Pudge is awesome. We lost contact with the boss some time ago. What happened? It's probably just a weak signal. Just hurry and get Sokolov out of there. Cyber th uh, Spectre, thanks for the follow. Remember, we only get one life to live. Live it to the max. Family, so. I'm having a double on now. Yeah, they're doing great though. The new baby is healthy, looking great. Boom. Jr. is doing great. 
but Junior will be three next month. On September 28th, daylight. <laughs> Tell you what he mean. Andrew, yeah, sure. Yeah, Tank, well, it's good to have you here, brother. Good to have you here, man. It's always good to have all y'all to come hang out with us. Freeze! Carlos, is that your guess? Okay, Carl, that's cool. Legendary boss. Huh? <laughs> yeah, Pensive. That's right. I killed them all. We meet at last. You. You're from the <laughs> Big boss, he sure did. Huh. What's a crew soldier doing here? Soldier? God, Andrew. Man. Brett. Good old Brett beat him. Was that right? Illinois played Nebraska, isn't that right? He's the Ocelot commander. <laughs> That's Major Ocelot to you. And don't you forget it. Yes, sir. So I know Natalia. Get out of here. <laughs> it's Major Meow to you. Escape. What? Can't say it feels good to kill a comrade, even if it is for the Gru. <gasps> Sokolov, take cover. Cover. Huh. You're not the boss, are you? Oh, yeah, Tank. Oh, I turned 18. Dang, Tank. Whew. Crew operatives? What is that stance? Huh. That dilly, dilly. gun. <laughs> 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 Time to get serious. If you're not the boss. Then die. Uh, a dud. Major. Leave it. Shoot the other one. Whoa.
impossible. You ejected the first bullet by hand, didn't you? I see what you were trying to do. But testing a technique you've only heard about in the middle of battle wasn't very smart. You were asking to have your gun jam on you. Huh? Besides, I don't think you're cut out for an automatic in the first place. You tend to twist your elbow to absorb the recoil. That's more of a revolver. Big boss, you gonna be as you gonna be a father soon? You filthy American dog! But that was some fancy shooting. You're pretty good. Pretty good. <sighs> Major, do you read me? I read you. Snake, you all right? I've run into a few snags. These guys were after Sokolov, too. Apparently, they were taking orders from a Gru colonel named Volgan. A Gru colonel? Part of an internal Soviet power struggle, according to Sokolov. You're born in daylight, Carlos. Something between the KGB and Gru. Between Khrushchev's supporters and Volgan's. Sokolov was being guarded by the KGB and hunted by Gru? Well, I'm Anita, it, so like it, it, it just posted it. Than Cuba. I don't like it. Something about the whole thing stinks. I agree. You'd better hurry. Sokolov ran off by himself, but I'll catch up to him. We're counting on you. You were born in 98? Oh, that's awesome. Alright, I usually would do that, but... The time paradox, but I'm going for a non-lethal playthrough, so I'm not going to do that. Hi there. You're not seeing it? It says right out underneath it, Mama Nita. Make sure it's on live chat instead of top chat, by the way. It says, uh, Mama Nita Foxhound hours, 876.33. Snake, stay alert. The KGB and Gru both have their sights set on Sokolov. Gru is a military espionage outfit, the intelligence wing of the Soviet Defense Ministry's General Staff Office. It competes with the KGB, which is under the Ministry of Internal Affairs, and the two are always watching each other. Never let the left hand know what the right hand is doing. Exactly. Now, added to that rivalry, there's a vicious power struggle going on between the Khrushchev faction and the anti-Khrushchev faction. So Khrushchev is using the KGB, and Volgan and the anti-Khrushchev forces are using the Gru? That's the idea. The two factions are fighting over Sokolov. We're in an extremely dangerous situation here. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Get Sokolov out of there safely. He must not be turned over to the KGB or to the Gru. Sokolov took off in the direction of the rope bridge. Get after him. Hurry! Here. Major, have you been able to contact the boss? No. You really think it's bad reception? We're looking into it. Major. Snake, you've got more important things to worry about than contacting the boss. Right now, Sokolov is out there wandering around the jungle alone. What are you going to do if he gets caught by the enemy? <sighs> We're still looking into why oh, yeah. we lost contact with the boss. I'll let you know as soon as we find anything yeah, else. It's right there. In the meantime... It's your job to find Sokolov and get him to safety. Got it? Alright. Cyber, they're on YouTube. Uh, most people that watch me are on YouTube. So if you go to that link, you'll see the you'll see the live stream there. Mama Nia, you probably have it blocked. You probably blocked it. Like,
Yeah, how do you not see that, Mama Nita? Huh. Oh. On the top left, Mama Nita. I don't know if you're on PC or whatever, but. Carlos, hi. You're good, man. Oh, it's 8.17. You're on mobile? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. What's up, Justin? How you doing, buddy? <laughs> hey, Scuba Steve. Liquid! <laughs> you okay? Those men were from the Ocelot unit. Spetsnaz. Yes. The best crew has to offer. They're coming for me. I'm finished! Calm down. I'll get you out of here, I promise. And we've got some of the best backup we could ask for. Look. That's what they were making you build. Yes. The Shagahod, the treading behemoth, a tank capable of launching nuclear IRBM. It can launch nuclear missiles from that kind of terrain? Oh, yes. And without support from friendly units. A nuclear-equipped tank capable of operating solo. Is that thing finished? No, this is only the end of phase one. It won't be truly finished until we complete Phase 2. Phase 2? The weapon's true form. If it is completed and the Colonel gets his hands on it, it will mean the end of the Cold War. The end of the Cold War? Yes. And then the Age of Fear will truly begin. A world war. I had no choice but to cooperate. I didn't want to die. I wanted to see my wife and child again in America. Please, take me to America, quickly. They cannot complete it without my help. Got it. Let's go. Oh, Justin, I'm sorry. My bad, dude. <laughs> Your cyber specter from Twitch. My bad, Justin. <laughs> My bad, Justin. I mean, you may just want to close out of the chat, a chat, and open it back up. Boss. Good work, Jack. What are you doing here? Sokolov comes with me.
Big Boss with the five euro donation. My friends, let us fight together again. I have waited long for this day. You're we will good. fight with you once more. Welcome back, boss. Now that all five of us are together, it's time we go to the depths of hell itself. It's raining blood. Is he crying? You want that to go, Big Boss, you want that to go towards, uh, you too, Big Boss. Are you out of here, Big Boss? Do you want that to go towards old age, early, or fight? Kuwabara, Kuwabara. Joyful scene. Colonel Vogan. Welcome to my country. And to my unit. Boss, what is this? I'm defecting to the Soviet Union. Sokolov is a little gift for my new hosts. Old age right, big boss. Nuclear warheads. These will make a fine gift for me. This can't be happening. The Who old age, you said, huh? Another one of your disciples? Five euros. Are we taking him with us? No. This one is still just a child. Too pure for us cobras. He has not yet found an emotion to carry into battle. What are you talking about? Think you can pull the trigger? Face. We can't let him live. If Khrushchev finds out about this, we're finished. He must die. Wait. He's my apprentice. I'll take care of him. <clears throat> Jack, you can't come with us. Done here. Now onto Sokolov's research facility. 
Shago Hot is ours. Drift away. My place is with them now. Oh, big boss. Yeah, hold on. It is broken. Hold on. I gotta get you a new one. Just a second. I'll find you a new one. Snake, can you hear me? Yeah, just barely. Snake, listen to me. You need emergency medical treatment. Can you move? You've got to get those wounds treated. Hang in there. All right, let's get you fixed up. Paramedic? Okay, Snake. Just relax and it'll all be over before you know it. Stay with me. I've seen people in worse shape before. Think you can handle it? Major. The boss. She's defected. We'll talk about that later. First, we've got to get you packed She's up. infected! Okay, I mean, defected. Go. I mean, what? First, open the survival viewer with the start button. If you select cure, you can start the treatment. Healing is divided into treatment using medicine with the item window button and surgical treatment using the weapon window button. Your injuries include a fractured left elbow and rib bone, and lacerations on your upper arms, right elbow, and abdomen. They need to be fixed using surgical treatment. Move the healing cursor with the left stick to the affected part of your body. Once you've selected the affected area, hold the weapon window button and use the left stick to select the medical item, and then press the inner button. With this method, you can use items to help your recovery process. To treat a bone fracture, first secure the affected area with a fastener and then wrap it in bandages. That should do it. For lacerations, you'll need disinfectant to clean the wound, sutures to stitch it up, styptic to slow the flow of blood, and bandages to wrap the wound. If you do everything I mentioned, the wound should heal completely. Understood? Yeah. Stay with me. Go into the survival viewer and treat those wounds. Gotta treat those wounds. Alright, by the way, so... If you turn and look here... The top left... Oh no. Top left. I always like to point this out for those that don't. There's the sorrow right there. Sorrow. Or if you do the if you do if you're looking and playing the main game, hey there, buddy. It's gonna be okay, Snake. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay, Snake. Uh, anyway, so if you look over <laughs> to the left, you can see his body over there too on the left. See it over there? There's Sorrow's body over there. <laughs> It's a snake. It's a silly snake. It's a, it's a snake. You know, I like the point. Where's the sorrow? Right here. Hold on. Right here. There he is. There's the sorrow. That's his body. Oh, Balazar. That's nice. Or you can, if you do this uh, particular camera, you can see it that way. Right here. There's his body. It's a dead body, because the sorrow's dead. There he is. 
Hey, Ice, how are you doing? What you up to? Anyway. I am a weirdo. What a weirdo. What a weirdo. <sighs> yeah, there you go. That's why I always like to bring it up, tanks, and people don't know. So I like to bring it up for that reason there. Snake. We're coming to get you now. Just stay where you are. We'll drop a recovery balloon. Can you set it up? Carlos, big boss. Thank you so much for, for becoming members and uh, love Daddy, Laura, Carlos, and big boss for y'all's generous donations. Or, well, love Daddy, Laura, and big boss for your donations. Thank y'all. I'm a poor snake. Poor snake. Big boss. <laughs> Hi, hey, John. Excellent. A great success. Thanks to the boss and her cobras, I have both Sokolov and the Shagohad. He smells a fart. What are we going <laughs> to do with the girl? She's Sokolov's woman. What's up, Walter? She's a nice catch. I'll take her. Not so fast, my dear. KGB. We may be able to use her. She has spunk. Whoop, whoop. 
Shall we take her back to the base? Perhaps we should. We have no further use for Sokolov's research facility. I think it's time I gave this marvelous new toy what? a try. Colonel, even if they are our enemies, they're still our countrymen. But it won't be me that pulled the trigger. It'll be our friend, the American defector. You're going to nuke your fellow Russians? <laughs> Remember the Alamo. Colonel! All right, guys, y'all ready for the song? Y'all ready for the song? Just in case. Great success. Oh, it takes forever. Here we go. What a thrill I'm searching and I'm bound to you What a fear in my heart But you're so supreme I get my life Not for honor but for you In my time, there'll be no one else. Crime is the way I fly to you. I'm still in a dream, snake eater. Through the rain someday your feet on a tree frog a child to survive and the guy George in the house I give my life not for honor but for you snake eater in my time, there'll be no one else. Crime is the way I fly to you. I'm still in a dream, snake eater. Still in a dream, snake eater. Snake. What?
white guy, George. You don't like my my rendition? What's wrong with you? What's up, Pseudo? Big Boss 472, thanks so much for that. Six Euro Holla, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Carlos with that $2 holla. Thank y'all. Currently flying over the Arctic Ocean, altitude 30,000 feet. What are you Soviet airspace. Arriving at the designated drone launch point. Drone oil pressure and voltage are nominal. Payload oxygen supply is nominal. Power supply to payload antifreeze system shows no problems. No gusts. All systems I'm go sorry, Laura. Sudo, you're such a turd. <laughs> so, Carlos and uh, Big Boss, what do you want that was donation to go towards? Can't get as close to the ground as we did during the Virtuous mission. So, instead, we'll be using one of our newest weapons. Snake, you're being given an honor on par with Alan Shepard. This is our last chance. Show your patriotism. If you fail, you'll be back in a hospital bed again, waiting for the firing squad. Old age for Carlos. Okay. So how does it feel to be a patient in one of the most advanced ICUs in the world? Would you do me a favor and tell the suits about visiting hours? I'll never get better with them assaulting me day and night with their questions. Must be part of the top brass's inquiry. More like the big boss, you wanted uh, old age too, didn't you? Traitor and an accomplice to the boss's defection. You know what you did last time as well, They're old age? For a scapegoat. Does that mean they're after you too? Let's just say neither one of us is going to be made a national hero out of this. Does this mean Fox is going to die? No. This Fox is still one step ahead of the hounds. The reason I came to see you today... Jack, it's time for Fox to clear its name. What are you talking about? The situation has changed. We've still got a chance to come out of this one alive. Yeah, what kind of chance? Don't get too excited. Here, have a cigar. It's Cuban. This morning, I had a meeting with the CIA. They decided when they're going to execute us. Oh, so Balin, in this game, uh, the end is one of the bosses that you pl that you uh, fight against. Yesterday, the White House received an. But you can fight him normally. You can actually kill him early. Like there's a part where you can actually snipe him, which that would actually be a death. But you can snipe him and kill him early, to where you don't have to face him, but you have to face like some normal goons instead. Soviet Union. Or. And we'd have to redo do some things, but if you actually make it to the boss fight and save the game at the location and you load it before seven days, it's, it, he like finds you. Picked up a signature that appeared to come from one of your military aircraft. And you go to like a cell and you have to try to make it back. But if you wait longer than seven days, the end dies of old age and you find his body. It's just a little response, quirky I mean, thing that, that they no choice, but did they ordered the military to maximum alert and on the game. Armageddon. There's different ways you can take the end out. The Kojima's crazy about that kind of kind of that kind of weird stuff. It's so fun. The Cuban incident. But my power is not as great as it once was. If I yeah. survive this crisis. Big boss, I'll be playing through the whole game, but I won't finish it tonight. I gotta work tomorrow, so there's no way. I could do this. I should have contacted you myself. This voice actor right here, same one as 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 uh, country. We could go Victor, gosh dang Sullivan, Sully. So you haven't uh, in Uncharted. The man who arranged the defection was I think it's McDonald or something like that. Evgeny Borosovich Volgin. Volgin of the Brezhnev. Richard McGonagall. McGon Richard McGonagall. Who is the soldier? Her name is the boss. Richard McGonagall, right? She's a living legend. During World War II, she was the one who led us to victory in that war. And yeah, but if you but if you load it before that seven day mark, pseudo, then you have to find your way all the way back. The, boss, the mother of your special forces. Yeah, well, and yeah, I'm sure they will. They'd be so pissed at me. They'd be so mad if I did that to them. They need. As you know, Ballin, and what's going on in the world today, like, we, they need all hands on deck as much as possible. <laughs> I'd be putting people in bad spots if I did that. 
So I mean, if I had to, I you know, but if I don't, it would be bad. Two years ago, but serious problems were found with the launcher's range and precision. Although they were mass-produced, they've never been deployed in battle. But Sokolov's research facility was completely wiped out. The whole area is polluted. I can only offer you my deepest condolences over this terrible tragedy. So, the box with Colonel Volgen's help stole two experimental nuclear shells and took them with her as gift when she defected. Then, shortly thereafter, Sokolov's design lab, a top-secret military research facility, was destroyed by one of these weapons. Am I right so far? Yes, that's correct. And the American government denies any involvement in the affair. Is that right as well? That's correct. We were not involved in any way. Then what was a U.S. military aircraft doing on our radar screen? Yeah, hey, it Land, what's up, buddy? It was a violation of our airspace. And yet you say it was not acting under your orders. That's correct. You expect me to believe that this was all the work of a single soldier? I don't know what else to tell you. The Army insists that this is all a ploy on your part. I've said it once, and I'll say it again. Our government had nothing to do with it. And I would like dearly to believe you. However, I'm afraid my power over the military has weakened since the Cuban incident. I will need some kind of proof that this was not the action of the American government. You have one week. You must catch the right, so and recover the remaining nuclear device. Yeah, all hands on what? On on D E C K, Pensive. D E C K. <laughs> prove our innocence. Yes, preferably. Something oh yeah, big boss for sure. I always rotate through. Uh, my three main series I do is Metal Gear Solid. The boss should be close to Colonel Volgan. Uh, Mega Man and Resident Evil. Then I do some other various things as well. But yeah, I always go through Metal Gear Solid, Resident Evil, Mega Man. I rotate through those. And Colonel Volgan is a member of the Brezhnev faction, which seeks to topple my government. One week. You have only one week, and if it is not too much to ask, do something about Volgen as well. What is that supposed to mean? Nothing. It means nothing. Call it a modest gentleman's agreement to ensure our continued relationship. What if we can't prove our innocence? <laughs> yes, it all right. No, if never. The military, I will be ousted, <laughs> and they will seek their revenge. I can count on one hand how many U.S. presidents have never lied. Disposal of this situation entirely to your discretion, Mr. President. Disposal. If you fail, it will mean the beginning of a new world war. I mean, they're human. Yeah, I can count on one hand how many U.S. presidents have never lied. We have to prove that America was not involved in that explosion. And eliminating the boss ourselves will prove America's innocence. Right. The higher ups have decided that you're the only one capable of pulling this off. You were her last apprentice. Screw this one up, and we'll both be six feet under. There's no choice. Are the Russians going to be helping us? The KGB has promised to lend us one of their communications satellites so that you and I can talk to each other. That's it? They've also put us in touch with a couple of insiders. Insiders? There was a defection in September 1960. You remember it? Yeah, he said so himself. Yeah, yeah sir. Two NSA codebreakers who went Great dude, though. Union. Precisely. Since then, they've apparently been training with the KGB in exactly this kind of situation. Their code names are Adam and Eva. I've been told that Adam has infiltrated Vulcan's ranks. We've also arranged. Big boss, no man. I don't fault you for that. You like what you like. If you like Resident Evil 5, it's okay. If you like Resident Evil 6, then we'd have to throw hands. No, I'm just kidding with you. Yeah, are you honest? Yes. Unidentified aircraft detected, altitude 30,000 feet. It's fast. Estimated airspeed. 
speed exceeding Mach 3. Bearing south. I'm about to lose it. That's true. Hey, Virgin Looms, how are you doing? This is Snake. Do you read me? Loud and clear. Glad to see you landed safely. Good version. Good to see you again. Target. Snake, let's go over your mission objectives one more time. Rescue Sokolov. Find out what's happened to the Shagahod. The big boss, you're not insane. And finally, eliminate the boss. Eliminate the boss. This mission will be code Killer. Operation Snake Eater. Because I'll be taking on the boss in our Cobra unit, right? Don't yeah. forget about Colonel Volgin. I'm Volgen. not a hired killer. I know, but that was the Kremlin's demand. Demand? You mean it wasn't just a request? What's it to us if the Khrushchev regime is threatened by the Colonel and his faction? If supporting the current regime helps us avoid a nuclear exchange, then that's what we'll do. And what are the CIA's demands? Our priorities are the rescue of Sokolov and the destruction of the Shagahod. Roger that, Major Tom. Hold on, Snake. What now? I'm changing my code name. It turns out Tom wasn't the most auspicious. Not spoiling anything, Tank. Yeah, that's what we're voting. Yeah, dude, we've played this game so many times. You're not spoiling anything, dude. The wrong one. The <laughs> yeah, the vote is your people are doing the via donations how to take the end out, whether to fight him, fight, take him out early, or to do it via old age. Based on a true story about prisoners who escaped from a POW that's what the vote is. Via donations, we do that usually for these or for Meryl's fate in Metal Gear Solid One. The prisoners succeed in escaping by using the last remaining tunnel. The names of those three tunnels were Dick, Harry, and Tom. I get it. You use the name of the tunnel they escaped in as your code name because you thought it would bring you good luck. Yes, that's exactly right. At least, that was the plan. But? But I got the name wrong. The one they escaped in was Harry. Tom was one of the unlucky tunnels. It was discovered by the Nazis before it was finished. I watched the movie again just to make sure. In fact, I even ordered the actual film from the movie company. Yeah, it doesn't sound like the greatest name to use. So what should I call you? Hmm. You know, let's just use Zero, like we've been doing all along. All right, then. Major Zero it is. We'll start over from square one. From square zero. My frequency is 140.85. Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> Paramedic is with us it's again on this mission. Is this her last chance to? If we fail, she'll have her medical license revoked. It's more or less the version same exactly. I like lurkers definitely make streams go. Is the same as during the virtuous mission. One four five point seven three. She'll be recording your mission data as well, just like the last time. That frequency is also the same. One four zero point nine six. And there's one more person on your support team. His name is Mr. Sigint. He's an expert on the latest in weapons and equipment uh, technology. Uh, You'll be going up against some of the world's most advanced uh, weapons uh, when you infiltrate the research facility. If you have any questions, just ask him. His frequency is 148.41. Mr. Sigint, got it. Adam, your KGB contact, is waiting for you at the abandoned factory up ahead. The same factory Sokolov was <laughs> being held in last week. Yes, meet up with Adam first. He's cleared the way for you to rescue Sokolov. 
How will I know this Adam guy when I see him? You'll know once you reach the factory. The whole area's been polluted by the fallout from that nuclear blast. No one else would dare come close. The password is, who are the Patriots? And Lali Lule Lo. Lali Lule Lo. Gotcha. You've been equipped with a 45 for this mission. Be careful, it's noisy. I thought standard Fox procedure was procure on-site weapons acquisition. The circumstances are different this time. You're now on an official mission for the United States government. It would be necessary to make your presence known to a certain extent, to the Khrushchev regime at the very least. But remember, this is still a sneaking mission. Snake, if you fail this mission, it will mean an all-out nuclear war. Keep that in mind and proceed with extreme caution. Understood. Commencing Operation Snake Eater. Snake Eater. Oh, let's see. I'm the spy. Version man, it's nice having that PS3 and be able to string from him. It's awesome. It's awesome. Yeah, Metal Gear is a man. I love this. this is my favorite series of all time. Oh yeah, no doubt. Got to listen. We got to call him about the. Is that a horse? You just heard a horse? Yeah. Horse? You sure it wasn't something else? I know a horse when I hear one. <laughs> Paramedic, are there any wild horses in Selino Yask? Do you really expect me to say yes? No. So what should I do? There's only one way through that area. All you can do is move forward. Head towards the sound of that horse. It came from the north. Be careful. A horse? A horse? Is that a horse? <laughs> with the horse emoji. Yeah, controls bees makes sense. Looks like death wasn't ready for you yet. Boss. That arm still hurt? What are you doing here? Sons are waiting up ahead. You don't have a prayer of finishing your mission. You're not even armed. Which well, just sounds different. It sound, R's and L's sound the same to them, Tank. I'm not your boss anymore. There's nothing for you here. <sighs> Go home. Go back to your boss. There's no need to prove that you are virtuous here. 
This isn't America. Big boss, maybe. Should stir things up a bit. I'd say so. You'd better hurry. Hey there, sorrow. The I saw your dead body. You ought to be able to run that far. Why'd you defect? I didn't. I'm loyal to the end, to my purpose. What about you, Jack? What's it going to be? Loyalty to your country or loyalty to me? Oh, there you go, version. There you go. Or your old mentor, the mission or your beliefs, your duty to your unit or your personal feelings. You don't know the truth yet. But sooner or later, you'll have to choose. I don't expect you to forgive me. But you can't defeat me either. You know me too well. Just look at that bandana. If you can't put the past behind you, you won't survive long. We meet again, I'll kill you. Mortal Kombat. Now, go home. Horses. This is Snake, Major Zero. I read you, Snake. I was ambushed by the boss. You were what? The drone's been shot to hell. Banana. It's up flames. A banana. Enemy scouts are going to come looking for you. Yeah, I know. But what was the boss doing here in the first place? There's got to be a leak somewhere. No, that's impossible. The man the boss is working with, Volgin, isn't exactly on speaking terms with Khrushchev. I lost my gun. The boss destroyed it. Snake, I know how you're feeling. It's hard for me to believe, too, that a legendary hero like the boss would go over to the Russians she double cross us like this but that's how it is and if you don't accept it you'll never be able to beat her that's not the problem in terms of sheer technique i'll never be able to beat her i know that all too well you've got to do it snake she's your enemy and your objective enemy we were together for 10 years and now you tell me she's my enemy enough hurry to the factory where adam is waiting scouts have probably already been sent out to investigate the explosion you've lost your weapon right that means you've got no chance of winning in a battle situation. Whatever you do, don't let them see you. All right. Uh. How are you, Big Boss? Big Boss, I doubt I'll make it tonight. Just because I gotta work tomorrow. My guess is I won't make it to the end tonight. Just because I'm watching everything, so I don't think so. It'll probably, it'll be tomorrow, I think. When I get there. To be quite honest with you.
I gotta change the camouflage. Here we go. No, he's not. He's pretty heavy footed, it sounds like, doesn't it? <laughs> Oh my gosh, big boss. Damn. You put Dude. <laughs> Thank you. 20.99. The fight. You're like going against yourself. Jeez. Let me find out what that amount is. Twenty-four eighty. That puts that in the later. That just right out of the shoot. Right. That's twenty-four eighty in U.S. dollars. Thank you so much. Jeez. Always skipping, man. Not always, but thank you so much for that generous donation, dude. My goodness, very nice of you to do that. That's right, nobody here. I to get some face paint on me. Pseudo is true, but not blasphemous. It is what it is, bro. Well, I appreciate the love there, big boss. Grandpa, Grandpa. <laughs> oh, he does, Ballin? Then Metal Gear is not the game for him, then. He needs to play, like, Call of Duty and stuff like that. Well, he's 10, so I don't know. Maybe not yet, but... <laughs> I don't know. What, is he, what kind of stuff does he... What does Mini Baja play? Does he play Celeste? <laughs> like his daddy? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean, Pseudo. Super Mario Maker. Oh, that's right. He made some amazing levels, by the way. That's right. I played some of his levels he made on stream. That's right. I need to do that again sometime. Right, let's, uh... Go and call Sig and get some of these... No. Sounds... The day Let's get this right here. Snake, why are you naked? Snake, what's, what's up? up? Why are you naked? I know there's a naked option under uniform that lets you take off the Victoria, what's uniform. that about? But without a shirt on, your camouflage sucks, and your stamina goes down faster. You don't get any advantages whatsoever. Sure there are. Like what? It feels good. Man, you do whatever you want. I will, thanks. Just one question, though. What? 
Is there a way to take off my pants? Say what? My pants, can I? Oh, hell no. This Fox unit is a nut fest. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. So, Ireland, what time zone are you in? Uh, Irish Standard Time. Go time to... Iron is six hours ahead, so if I started at 9 p.m. That'd probably be like 3 in the morning for you. It'd be like not it'd be like 3 to 3 30 a.m. when I start. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's even I thought. That's probably about when I'm going to start tomorrow, though. It's always pretty between then because I got to get stuff ready, get my son to bed, get stuff, and all that kind of stuff, get him to sleep because my wife will be at work in the evening. So I got to take him, make sure he gets to bed. Okay, big boss, nice. It'll be around 3 to 3 30 when I start tomorrow. Factory. Yeah, tape them open. All right, sounds good, Big Boss. We'll see you tomorrow then. Yeah, I never heard of Factorio. Oh, let's do the let's do the box one. Laura, yeah, you're not biased at all. What are you talking about? Talking about. Uh, Snake, what, what are, are you doing? doing? I'm in a box. <laughs> a cardboard box? Why are you... I don't know. I was just looking at it, and suddenly I got this irresistible urge to get inside. No, not just an urge. More than that. It was my destiny to be here. In the box. Destiny? Yeah. And then when I put it on, I suddenly got this feeling of inner peace. I can't put it into words. I feel safe. Like this is Oh, where hey Sock! Jerry! Like I found the key to true happiness. Uh -huh. Hey Jerry. Jerry! That makes sense. Not even a little. You should come inside the box. Then you'll be with me. Man, I don't know what you mean. Between you and Paramedic, is everyone but me that is hooked up with a major strange? Uh -huh. Hey Jerry with that sock ray. Yeah, What's up, buddy? Anyway, I suppose even that dumbass the box might make a decent disguise if you wear it inside a building. I'm under enemy fire. Secure the perimeter. On the Twitch side. Played us like a damn fiddle. That's damn good. Thank you so much for that, Ray Jerry. <laughs> to Jerry sixty four. You're playing Super Mario Maker two. Okay, nice. That's who came in with that Ray. We got Twisted Tail. What an on Ringo. I'm probably screwing that up. Ru roulette. Here on Ringo, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, Jerry1345, I'm probably missing something. Please let me know. Thank you so much for the follows there. Appreciate y'all. Remember, you only get one life to live. Live it to the max. Welcome to the family, son. Appreciate that. Okay, Twisted sounds good. <laughs> um... Yeah, thank you so much. We are playing Mario Maker 2. We're just playing a lot of different levels. How did it go? Tiber Shadow, thank you so much for the follow as well. We get one life to live. Live it to the max, baby. Welcome to the family, son. Thank you. 
If you're new, if you're new here, hey ICR. If you're new to the channel, I'm Pudge 007. We do a lot of Metal Gear Solid, Resident Evil, Mega Man. Switch through those, and also do other variety stuff. Some blind games I never played before. New games that come out. That's cool, Jerry. Great to great all that. I hope that all went well, man. Great to see you. Be sure to check out Jerry uh, channel. I'll put it on the I'll put it on the YouTube side as well. If you have Twitch, he was doing some Super Mario Maker Two content. So there you go. Those kills for days. Thank you so much for the sub as well. Welcome to the family, son. Boom. All right. Appreciate y'all. Thank you. Thank you. That box. The dang ass box. Oh, man. We'll just do this one. Twisted Tail, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the family, son. The sound's not working too well right now. Not really sure why. But what? Cyber Shadow, I see y'all, but I don't have them linked where y'all can see it. You'd have to go over there to see what they're saying. It's got way too much going on to where I've tried to do that to where they sink and it just messes up. So I just don't do that. I just It's a headache to try to figure out. But I, I put your link over there on uh, the YouTube side, Jerry. If they have, uh, if they have Twitch, to check your channel out, brother. Sorry, I'm late. Cut the engine. They'll hear us. Are you the agent they sent? Are you Adam? I thought you were supposed to be a man. Adam couldn't make it. All right, say the password. <laughs> Who are the Patriots? Who are the Patriots? Answer me! Thank hey. they do. Tiber Shadow, you came to the purple side. Hey, ballin' on the purple side. Tiber, I guess YouTube, but whatevs. I appreciate whatever y'all do. The name's Eva. <laughs> Dingo Foxhound. I've got Foxhound right few times. What's up, Dingo? No skills for days. I did that for you. What happened to Adam? What's your code name? It's Snake. Snake, huh? Well, I'm Eva. Are you here to tempt me? What happened to Adam? Colonel Volgan is a very suspicious man. He decided Adam wasn't the right person for this mission. And you were? Yes. Why? Because I can do things he can't. I heard you used to be a codebreaker for the NSA. I was. Four years ago, I defected to the Soviet Union with Adam. Mauser military. 
the broom handle. It packs quite a punch. Nice to have when you're on a bike. You held it sideways and used the muzzle jump to create a horizontal sweep. That was impressive. Bet you've never seen that technique in the West. It's imitation, isn't it? Yeah. It's a Chinese Type 17 pistol. Around here, even that's hard to come by. Don't worry, though. You're welcome, no skills. For you is American made. <laughs> Tyra, exactly. Which one do you do? Which one? Tough decisions. 45, huh? Hmm. Incredible. Do you like it? The feeding ramp is polished to a mirror sheen. The slide's been reinforced. And the interlock with the frame is tightened for added precision. The sight system is original, too. The thumb safety is extended to make it easier on the finger. A long type trigger with non slip grooves. A ring hammer. The base of the trigger guard's been filed down for a higher grip. And not only that, nearly every part of this gun has been expertly crafted and customized. Beautiful. And that dry fire sucks, Snake. Something like this. Moving a lot. I grabbed it from a Western Munitions Armory. It probably used to belong to one of your officers, and there are more where that came from. You had this with you, didn't you? Better take this too. What's that? A disguise to make you look like a scientist. A disguise? Yes. You're here to rescue Sokolov, right? Sokolov's still safe, then? Yes. He's being forced to continue his work on the Shagoha. Where? At the lab. They've got a whole army of scientists there developing new weapons. Security is tight, but if you disguise yourself as a scientist, you might be able to sneak in. Can we get Sokolov out of there? We'll see, won't we? Tell me how to get to the lab. The safest way in is from the rear. From the rear is the safest way, huh, Eva? You dirty girl. Continue north and there will be a large crevice. Descend into Big boss dang coming on in again. Through the cave and you will arrive at a mangrove swamp. You're pretty good. After the swamp, there'll be a warehouse. Make your way through the warehouse, and you'll come out just south of the lab. Got it. And just what are you doing there? <laughs> In close-range combat, a knife can sometimes be more useful than a gun. By doing this, I'll be able to hold a knife at the same time and still keep the gun steady. That way, I can instantly switch between a gun battle and a knife fight. Right, let's get going. Wait a minute. What now? You must be tired. Why don't you take a little rest? I'll be fine. You'll never make it in your condition. It's a jungle out there. There's still an hour before dawn. It's dangerous to be out in the jungle at night without a guide. Huge. Ongo Longo. <laughs> what the hell, Big Boss? <laughs> I can't be gone for too long. They'll start to suspect. The big boss, thank you so much for that seven year old. What is that going towards? Fighting? Old age? Early? Don't what are we going that for, I'll man? Keep you updated over the radio. Yeah, her and That's Tara, it. maybe? <laughs> My orders are to provide you with information, nothing more. That really insane. Doesn't how smart he is, no skills. You look disappointed. Very, very smart. All right, then. Bandana There's gives him special. infinite intelligence. I'll stand watch until dawn. Now be a good boy and lie down. Oh, that's it. What's the matter? I don't know you well enough to trust you. How well do you have to know me to trust me? I don't know if I can trust anybody. Gonna get that? Shh. 
She's right, Snake. You should get some sleep. Although, in your condition, you really ought to be back in the ICU. Whenever you save the game and quit, you'll go to sleep. Sleeping allows you to gain back stamina naturally. Depending on how long you sleep, you may also recover naturally from sickness and injury. When you're tired or hurt, the best Going thing to fight? To Dang, is to big sleep. boss. All right, so dude. So do yourself a favor and take a nap. Doctor's orders, okay? Yeah, okay. I'm going to save it just in case something cra crazy happens. This takes so long to load. So, Jerry, what's going to be next for you? Brilliant scientist. Well, hello there. Woo, Eva. What'd you eat last night? Beans? What's the matter? We're surrounded. I see four of them. We've got company. It's the Ocelot unit. Oh, okay. Crowd control That's Minecraft. Perfect. What does that mean? Don't forget your gear. <laughs> yeah. Here, give me a hand. We can use this to get to the basement. Hey, Natalia. She ate tree frogs, that's true. On my bike. I'll call you later. Okay. I'll keep them busy. Oh, Jerry, really? That's cool. Don't go dying on me now. Uh, yeah, you're pretty. That's it. <laughs> Mama need it. That's why that's why the stream's here. To provide that kind of entertainment. Yeah, I have a stun already, but I need to get the. Uh... That's true. Maybe they haven't. That's true. Got a couple of them. Ah. You have tank? Well, that's good. I mean, you have an 18 year old boy or 18 year old kid, so I'm hoping so. <laughs> My boobs. Beebs. Let's see if we can do a different camouflage here.
He squeezed more boobs than actually seen upon request. That's interesting. Oh, wild wow, tanks. I guess you have seen it. Fudge after dark. That's right. You never know what's going to happen here. Yeah, but they'll always be your kids, Tank. P.A.D. Ballin'. P.A.D. Fudge after dark. Got him. One more. And that's that. Yeah, Jerry, could you get me a uh, Coke Zero, please? Much after dark all day. <laughs> It's a special. Thank you, Carlos. Nice shooting, Tex. Come on, man. That's all you got? Battery. I think I'm pretty maxed out on the batteries, but... Be my... It says 20th playthrough, but that's because I've done the same different files many times. I've played through this game. I can't... I don't even know how many times I've played through this game. Way too many. Oh, come on. Are those bodies alone? No. They got the goods, Ballin. You're not going to be using them. I am. Leave me alone, Ballin. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> I've been waiting for this moment. That's it. That's the stance. I don't think so. What? A female spy? No oh, man to tell you. Bitch is wearing perfume. Hey, that's not nice. I just farted. It wasn't Stay perfume. This her farts don't sting. Judo. I see you've got yourself a single action army. That's right. There'll be no accidents this time. You call that an accident? Well, it wouldn't have happened if you hadn't been showing off. What did you say? It's a nice gun. I'll give you that. But the engraving gives you no tactical advantage whatsoever. Unless you were planning to auction it off as a collector's item. And you're forgetting one more very basic thing. You don't have what it takes to kill me. We'll see. A dud!
thing only carries six shots. The Makarov carries eight. You have to get a feel for how many you have left. This is a high-class weapon. It's not meant for shooting people. Damn! This isn't over yet. Don't. Why? He's still young. Brother! It's been You'll Big boss, down. good lord. Damn With it. the 1210 <laughs> euro donation, my goodness. <sighs> Thank you toward old age. Crazy as hell for that big boss. But thank you. So much. Twelve ten. Twelve ten. Thirty. It's towards old age. Now old age is ahead. Oh, late. Old age is in the lead now. Woo. Crazy. Yeah, y'all been stupid crazy generous. Thank y'all so much. Well, Pensive, you still, even if that's the case, you still don't have to. You just take the tracker out, Pensive. Oh, you're talking about where the end is usually, right? I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. I see what you're saying. Well, it's very, I'm very appreciative. Thank you, big boss. I'm glad that you love them. That's why I do these things, because I enjoy it, and because other people seem to enjoy it, too. That's why I do it. Oh, get the croc cat, y'all. Wait a minute. I can't see where those things were. <laughs> Big boss. <laughs> Jerry, did you get it? Get a snack? Did you get you a snack? Snake. Grabbing something there? to drink real quick and while this is going. Did you, miss me? Did you make it without any trouble? No one saw me. So you're back with Volgan? In a matter of speaking. What about the boss? 
Yeah, she's here too. Better be careful. Thanks, I will. The boss and I get along pretty well, though. I guess we traitors have a lot in common. Why would anyone want to defect? Betraying your country like that, I, I just don't get it. Are you talking about the boss? Why'd you do it? Weren't you born and raised in America? Yes, in a small rural town. I never even knew there were other countries, other cultures, other ways of thinking. Until I went to work for the NSA. And one day, I'd found I'd lost faith in the things I'd been taking for granted. What did you see? What was it that made you want to change sides? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. I saw the universe. The universe? Not the actual universe. The universe as the intelligence community sees it. I realized that the gravity in this universe was holding me back. That's all. People and countries are both changed by their environment. And by the times. That sounds like what the boss was saying. There's a world of difference between this country and America. But it's only a difference of position, a difference of perspective. Coming here. Hold on, what we drinking tonight? It's just a little Coke half Zero. Of what I'd been told was a complete and utter lie. I wish I could drink the something half a little bit more heavy, but. <sighs> Where's the truth then? It's hidden in the lies. Are you lying too? Who knows? I've been trained to make even the most severe falsehoods sound like the honest truth. I shouldn't, you know, I'm trying not to drink too much of it, but it's what I'm going to drink right now. Believe because yeah, I know. I'm getting, I'm getting wasted, balling. That's part of my mission. I'll have to remember that. If you need me, give me a no, call. No, Natalia, radio. I said I was going to be back. Is one four two point five two. <laughs> See ya. Heavy. Uh, I drink the the heavy proof. Uh, oh, uh. Rum and Cokes. I haven't had those in a long time. Last time I did, what was I what was I playing? Oh no, darn it. Ugh. Oh, you're talking about beer. I was talking about like strong stuff. Um what was I playing last time? Was it this? Oh, big boss. I've done, I don't do them a lot, but I do them every once in a while. Oh, yeah, I did. What was I playing, though? Oh, I was playing Metal Gear Solid V. I was playing Metal Gear Solid V. Yeah, Natalia, I remember that now. Yes, yes. It was pretty good. It's actually not bad. Yeah, the vodka and coke was not as good. Rum and coke is definitely better than vodka and coke. It's kind of... Bleh. In that last mission, I still got an S. Remember, it was the mission where you have to uh, escort the kids from that mine. And I somehow still got an S rank. And I was freaking plastered. <laughs> I mean, I was a drunk. <laughs> Rum and vodka? Ugh, man. It was so bad. I was like, all right. I was all right. I was like, all right, guys. I'm, I'm going to bed. <laughs> was I hurt the next day? I was okay. I wasn't bad. I was a little kind of like, mm, like a small headache, but it wasn't bad. Oh, okay. I thought maybe it'd have some leeches on me, but... <gasps> oh, man. Pensive, I did. I got drunky drunk. I was like, guys, I'm done. 
I was doing like I was doing like a drink for ten dollars. Now I'd take a shot. Or maybe I was doing a drink. I can't remember. I think it was twenty dollars. I would do a shot. Oh yeah, is you and Cat? When's the last time you got to hang out with her? Cause that would definitely be fun if we are ever around that area. Oh my gosh, boss, you are you are insanely and generous tonight. Thank you. Like whenever I don't have anything going on the next day, and I don't have to worry about being a dad. <laughs> Crazy, you know. Not so, you know what I mean. Like I have to take care of my son the next day. Fifteen euros. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate you, brother. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good night, bro. Very generous. It's been too long. Fifteen. Seventeen seventy-two. You said for the for old age, right? early in. Oh, for early. Oh, dang. You just did it all over the place. For early. Okay. Yeah, you've done six donations and then, of course, the membership on top of that. 's really cool but she does like interior does she do like interior design like desktop publishing stuff I think I remember her telling me that oh yeah but yeah I got plastered then and there was one time where I was doing uh, I was doing a Mega Man 11 and I was doing superhero mode so that's the mode where it's it, superhero mode on Mega Man 11's no joke Yeah, good night, big boss. Graphic design, okay, yeah. And I was taking a drink every time I died. And it got so bad. Like, I was at the Dr. Wiley stage. Like, Dr. Wiley could suck my dick! It was, it was fun. It was fun. Um, I remember one time, uh, because I know, um... I think I uh, I made her come out cat. I made her nervous or something. And I was like, "Yeah, well, we should do collab sometime." I kind of did it all on the spot, and she was like, "Oh, maybe. I don't know. I'm nervous." I was like, "I'm sorry, cat. I didn't mean to do that to you." Because <laughs> I mean, because she loves Mega Man stuff, you know talks a lot of Mega Man stuff, and that's something I grew up with. And then we had that similar. We had that similar kind of connection. Yeah, it does help to eat prior. If you don't eat before you drink, it's not a good, not a good, not a good thing. I'm sorry, cat. <laughs> you know, because when you go to her streams, you know she's so out there. And then she told me she was like, yeah. Um, no, everybody has their own way of doing things. And, uh, you know, I'm just a very, you know, high energized person. That's how I am just in real life, too. But sometimes people are, you know, do that, and that's what they're like on stream, but they're a little bit more reserved when they're off stream. And, uh, like my Wonka, yeah, that's not what I said. Yes, Ballin, that would be amazing. Ballin, if we did something like that, that I think that would be amazing. If we were able to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, I didn't, you know, I just didn't, ca I didn't realize that. It's one of those things that I have to learn to be more careful when I ask stuff like that. Because I mean, I just, I, that's what I get for making assumptions. I made a made a butt out of myself, Ballin. I made a butt out of myself, and I was like, I just... You know. 
Like, oops. So, anyway, I'm gonna shut up now. Because she's awesome. I'm not saying that to be, like, it's a bad thing. It's not at all. It's just different. Like, like what you see here on stream is what you'll see. Like, that's just what I am. I mean, that's why I really enjoy doing what I do. And that, But, you know, other people, which they like being that way, but it's like an outlet for them to get their energy out, but they're more reserved when they're not on the camera. It's just a, it is a different dynamic. Like, when I first started streaming, you know, you know, it's, 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 it can be a little bit different when you're interacting with someone via camera and on chat than in person, but for me, it's usually about the same. It's pretty what you see is what you get for me when it comes to me on camera versus me in real life as well, but... I mean, I think, you know, me being a physical therapist, that kind of has a little bit to do with it, too. Like, I'm always interacting with people all the time, and... Yeah, well, exactly. It's just who I am. I'm just, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a social butterfly. Like, I have some, I have some, I do have some tendencies where I like to be kind of reserved from time to time, but I'm mostly a social person. How are you? Hey, Eric Stracy, thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate you. Welcome to the family zone. Appreciate that. Anyway, whatever. A lot of that stuff is from Big Boss there. Wow, crazy. Anyway. How oh, are you, Andrew? No holding back. Hey, man. I mean, I've been him being an ER, an ER, uh, doc. Ballin, well, but that's how, that's how he got to you, though, Ballin. He pretty much got straight to the point, and I'm sure you, it kinda, you kinda liked that, though. And he was like, Ballin. Whatever, you know, it's Ballin. Let's go. You and me, let's go on a date. And you were like, whoa, he was pretty straightforward. I like that in a man. Now here you are, together, married, with a mini Baja. Oh, really? You're the one who liked him? You had to tell him, huh? Turkey. You had to be like, Baja, get your butt over here and love me. He was like, oh, okay. Baja, hey, Baja's friends, tell Baja to get his butt over here to ask me out right now so we can... Get married and have a mini Baja, okay? That's, that's how the conversation went. <laughs> hey, you, over there, go ask me out. <laughs> oh, yeah, Natalia, for sure. I can see that. <laughs> that's how it went, per verbatim. Then settled <laughs> in the phantasm. You know, I've never actually seen that whole movie, Bowling. Bowling. I need to watch that sometime. The Mask of the Phantasm. I haven't seen all of that.
Carlos, sure, you just asked one, but you can ask another one. What's wrong? How did I just hit? There's nothing here. Huh? What's wrong? The hell was that? Shit! I mean, shoot! Yeah, you don't see it as offensive, but I mean... Night time or daylight? He was actually born during the day. I do better. I do better. But you gotta do better, son. Oh, where are you bowling? That's good. Yeah. We weren't that my wife and I weren't young. We had dated, you know, a few people here and there. You know, I've dated a few, she dated a couple, like I don't feel like we had a ton of baggage either. Like, I mean, there's, I mean, it depends on how, it depends on how, I'd say, I'd say that. It, there could have been the, the case where it could have been that way, maybe for my wife, maybe not so much me. I mean, I had heartbreaks and stuff like that here and there, but nothing too crazy. Maybe her more than me, but it doesn't allow that to happen. I mean, we love each other and nothing like that ever got in the way. It was, it was amazing. That cargo. Who was that? Huh? Mother God. What's wrong? M man, I can't hit a broad side of a barn. Shooting like crap right now. Damn. Thank you, Pseudo. What's wrong? What's wrong? Right there with you. That's good. Nobody. Yeah, I mean, trust communications is huge. Huge.
Definitely have we def it's definitely not perfect by any means, but it's amazing. Yeah, there's the, like like every like the one like I learned so many different things from the breakups that I had like the one that happened right before my wife and I met one of the things and I've talked and there's people I've talked to you about this before they said uh, they said they didn't love me anymore but they still wanted to kind of but they wanted me to make a decision whether if I still wanted and it was kind of like they were still kind of sad in a way but. Um, let me change some. Like they came in and they said they didn't love me anymore. HQ, or, no, or they said they didn't know if they love me anymore. They didn't say I don't love you anymore. They said I don't know if I do or not. The situation is normal. Understood. Return to and... Your but they were coming over to stay in my place or something. Like, we didn't live together. They were coming by. And... And they were telling me, they asked me if, if... They asked me if they should stay at my place or leave. And I was like, well... I was like, well... I was like, if you're not sure that you love me, then, then you might as well just leave. Like, before I would have told them to stay, but I learned... From a relationship before that, that I would have said that I would have had him to stay, and would have got my heart just torn to freaking shreds. And I said, "Nope." I was pretty much flat out said, "It's like if you don't know, you might as well just get out of here." Like it hurt for me to say that, but I learned, and I definitely was better because of it. I'd learned from that what happened previously. Is it love if you have to work at it? Yeah, Tank. Like if it, yeah. Like there's tough, there's been really tough times that my wife and I have had to go through. Not that nothing like, like where we were cheating on each other or anything like that, but just tough times where things, you know, with stuff with like in law stuff maybe, or I don't want to get too many details. Yeah, but but it's you, but it shouldn't feel like it's work all the time. There's gonna be times that you have to work out, but I don't feel like it should be work every day, Tank. That's true. If you feel like you're having to just pull teeth and you don't get along every day, then that's not good. That's for sure. Exactly, Pensive. Right, you're saying things, man. Yeah, it's a <laughs> No doubt, no doubt. Because if you're in it long enough, there's going to be some tough times. 
Oh, Big Boss Dane, dude. Jeez. What does GHT end? Fight the end? Nope, Ballin. Nope. Just your imagination. Ah, you're here at last. Looks like the boss's info was right. That's right. T only tough people last. That's right. Fight the end. Twice Thank you so much, brother. Bitter defeat. Disappoint the Cobras, but you're mine now. All of you, leave us. What do you do, Carlos? It's just you and me. No one to get in our way. Me too, man. I, I love college football. Creatures. They prefer to hunt alone. I'm not sure, Carlos. I bet I have. I'm not good about songs. Man, that's fast. That makes perfect sense. Twelve shots. Expensive, exactly. Just none of it. Well, and yep, he never does, actually. He he's pretty much follows him throughout the whole series, too. Alabama, Carlos. Well, that's easy to root for them. They win all the time. I've got 12 shots. Thank you, big bosses. Okay. Draw. Draw. Carlos, Arkansas. You won't get away from me. Can't hide forever. Good team. Well, they're not good right now, but they're getting better, I hope. I've never felt attention like this. Before. Oh yeah. After this after this boss fight, I'm going to have to stop it here. Holland, yeah. I do think Arkansas will definitely be at least a more... They're be, definitely being a lot better coached and more disciplined team with Sam Pittman. Carlos, I know. <laughs> That's tasty. That's tasty. Ah, darn. Come out and face me. Think I can't see you? Stay out of this. Damn!
One more shot. <laughs> I win. <laughs> Suck it. Carlos, I hope they do. How? Or he's ready? Hell yeah, man. He wasn't quick enough, Tank. <laughs> it's a quick draw duel. He wasn't quick enough. I was too quick for him, son. Saving the game, Snake? It was a quick draw duel, for crying out loud. Oh, ballin'. Yeah. Like the villain scream. Yeah. yeah. Downboard for the win there. <laughs> Hey, Tony, what's up, brother? Hey, Snake, you ever heard of Godzilla, King of Monsters? Yeah. No, what is it? I mean, no. It's a movie. You haven't seen it? See a tank. Nope. It's about this monster called Godzilla who grows to an enormous size in a nuclear test and goes on a rampage in Tokyo. Nuclear test, huh? Oh, guys, be sure to Much check Twitter. I mean, not Twitter. Yeah, if it's, it's on Twitter. Either it's Twitter or Discord to vote on the latest Blind Retro playthrough vote. Not a report out of Los uh, I'm not going to post it here on the chat for so reasons, but Godzilla is immune to all if you're on, on Discord or on no Twitter, the Dr. Sirizawa be sure to check that. Weapon. But meanwhile, Godzilla is getting closer and closer to Tokyo, obliterating everything in its path. It was originally a Japanese movie, but they made an American version, too. I recommend seeing the original Japanese one if you ever get the chance. It's mostly mindless fun, but it's also got a serious anti-nuke message as well. Where can I see the original? You'll just have to go to Japan. Really? That's too bad. Well, if you wait 40 years, you might be able to see it in America, too. Why is that? 2004 will be Godzilla's 50th birthday. You think they're still going to be making Godzilla movies then? Of course. Everybody loves Godzilla. They you sure know a lot about movies. I don't suppose you're the movie watching. Let's see, right now, Medieval. Really. We're looking, it's for the top four is what we're going to be voting on for members on Wednesday. So, movies can save your life. Medieval it's is at good seven to votes. Parasite Eve at six votes. That's the magic of movies. No kidding. Well, I guess it might at least make a nice Metroid Prime 2 echoes at three snake. votes. And Paper Mario Thousand Year Old Door at two votes. Got it saved. Thanks everybody got everybody for hanging out. You guys are amazing. Not gonna be doing a raid because I do not want to infect another amazing creator with crazy BOT stuff. So sorry that we're not gonna do that tonight. I usually would, but I just don't wanna 
spread that craziness around. Whatever is going on with. It. Anyway. Guys, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for the generous donations, super chats, and uh, a couple of members. Uh, Carlos Lopez Jr., of course. Hey, B-Dubs, thank you so much, buddy. Carlos Lopez Jr. and um, Big Boss 472 for the generous donations. Thank you so much. And also, Love Daddy, Laura, for the donations as well. Thank you so very much. And the Ray from Jerry64 on the Twitch side, thanks for that. Really do appreciate that and the follows that I got on there. Uh, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button if you haven't. Uh, we would love to have you back, so make sure to subscribe if you're new. We do a lot of Metal Gear Solid, Resident Evil, Mega Man, that kind of stuff. Thank you, John. Yeah, we'll be doing, um, I'll be going to work tomorrow, but I will be back for some more Metal Gear Solid 3 goodness. So I will see y'all then. But until next time, y'all, this has been your host, Pudge007. I'll catch y'all later. Have a good night, everybody. Adios. See ya. Thank you, Ballin. Good to see you again. Good luck to Baja. Bye, everybody. Have a good one, y'all.